Here's a quick breakdown of what goes into the total cost of engagement. As it turns out, offshore rates are comparable with rates in Mexico and Central America. The thing that offshore vendors don't like to talk about is the rest of the overhead of doing business offshore. For one, you have to fly there, and they have to fly here. And every time that happens, it costs more than a few thousand bucks per person. Another unspoken cost is relocation. You will more than likely have to relocate some of the offshore people to the U.S. This has considerable cost, and it creates stress for the people who have to stay here away from their families for an extended period of time. You'll need a bridge team. This includes an engagement manager, plus technical people dedicated to working half days with each team so they can clarify what's going on every day at each location. This is necessary to avoid having the teams get completely out of sync because of the separation. Then there's the issue of productivity. For every two engineers in the U.S., you'll need three or more offshore. One reason for this is that because of the increase in business going to places like India, it is very difficult for offshore vendors to find and retain experienced engineers. And having a team dominated by inexperienced engineers is a major contributor to lower productivity and quality. Also, in spite of all you might do to keep communications flowing, breakdowns will happen often, and you'll have to waste a lot of time doing rework to correct these misunderstandings. By the way, this increased demand is also causing record high turnover, which is a major hit to productivity and to the morale and stability of both teams. When you add it all up, the total cost of engagement in offshore locations can be up to 20% higher than somewhere closer to you. Thank you very much for your time.